This beautiful part of Yorkshire was captured on film in the middle of December 2017 by kind invitation from my friends Dick Lahansen and Nigel Tapley. The shoot is set in the small hamlet of Marset, about 15 miles north of the market town of Laban. I joined the syndicate of old-fashioned country boys who shoot nothing but side-by-sides and thoroughly enjoy the day's proceedings, whether it be 80 birds or 120 birds in the bag. Morning prayers, shooting pheasants, partridge, no ground game, no woodcock, no snipe, no grouse, no black game. Uh, therefore, the rest, I think, gentlemen, is to enjoy. One of the syndicate members is now in his 90s, but he still manages to shoot one or two nice birds. And as he remarked to me, he enjoyed these days now just as much as he did when he was a 16-year-old lad. This is the pleasure that shooting and the countryside brings to people of all ages and description. What a beautiful backdrop at Raydale, fantastic views here. Just on a very small day, I just walked up a mountainside like a billy goat. <laughs> but hopefully we'll get one or two coming back to us. But it's just marvellous to be here really. The flagman's just told me that odd occasion that uh, one usually comes back this way, so we, we might get a shot. <laughs> I've got a loader fully ready for the action. <laughs> On this first drive, I am stood about 50 to 60 yards away from the wood to cover any wily cock birds going back. No great height, but still long, difficult shots. We only got uh, three pheasants there but got them well out above them trees here as I say it's a small day it's a lovely lovely day out you don't need uh, massive days to enjoy the day look at this for a view it's unbelievable you know when you look at all this expanse we've got here to shoot over and right at edge at uh, North Yorkshire Moors as you see everything's been set up for shooting lovely On this second drive, I was sent to cover a gully on the hillside to prevent any wily cockbirds escaping. From there, I had a good viewpoint of the main drive, and it was nice to watch the old side by side boys pull some nice birds down.
lovely little uh, team it's, uh, that's here today, all friends. And that's all it is, a little friendly shoot. With some good birds as well. There were some outstanding birds on the last drive. We're on the end uh, again. Nigel likes to put me on the end for all these uh, hope that's escaping. He likes to, likes to have a good uh, wicket keeper. But uh, it's only a small day and I've so far thoroughly enjoyed it. I've, I think I've shot about six birds out at first two drives, but they've been escapees. So, uh, and I've enjoyed every one of them. That's what I like about uh, these small days, is usually in these little valleys and that you never get to shoot. But uh, just an absolute pleasure to be here. And we're on the edge of the moors again here and there's a chance of seeing a grouse or two here, especially a black grouse. Uh, I've been here before and we've uh, we've had the black grouse come over us. Uh, of course, we're not allowed to shoot those. They're protected on the moors. And they, rightly so, they're getting back in, in bigger and bigger numbers every year uh, through the, uh, the protection of the, sh of the shooting fraternity. And what a bloody grand day for it today. These birds are good long crossers going back. In this clip, you'll see me refuse this bird. Although a great crossing bird, I consider it too low for a safe shot. Doing a fantastic job. I mean, I've been sort of visiting you. What, you've had it about 10 years now, haven't you? 10, 11 or 12. 11 or 12 years, yeah. I think I come in the first year. And fortunately, I've been invited every year. And I thoroughly enjoyed it. It's, it's what I call nearly a wild bird shoot. I mean, this is probably unique because it doesn't have any game crop. No, it's yeah, all it's opera fed, yeah. Just driving long grasses, reeds, yeah. coming out of marsh. Um, yeah. And so, I mean, that next drive will be 400 acres to bring in. Is it? Yeah, yeah. yeah all wild stuff, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I noticed from the you know, first time I came here, the uh, the diversity of the wildlife's gone up. The population seem to have seen more work, more uh, local woodcock here this year. You know, yeah. they, they, they're actually staying. And we actually have red squirrels here, believe it or not. Yeah, there were none of them when I first came here. Nothing. I don't were, know why, but they've arrived. Yeah. Which is nice. Yeah, I think the the work that Julian's put in and the the bloody money that. Uh, you and Nigel's put in and the, the, the little syndicate that you have, I think it's worked yeah, it's worked very well, hasn't it, really? Well, we have fun here, that's the bit. That's the bit, yeah. I mean, we're not here. It's not about it's numbers. It's a day out, yeah. yeah. It's a day out, but you we do get some vile weather. Yeah. Which te tests the sense of humour a bit I've been, I've been here when it's been three foot of snow, Dick. Oh, I struggle to get round here, round the corner here. Yeah. yeah. One of my favourite drives, Shawville, because <coughs> you do see, on occasion, you see a, a grouse or two and we used to have one grouse about the first three years that used to fly over the same spot every time. Is that <laughs> over Shawgill? I remember that, yeah. There used to be two. Yeah, <laughs> one, well, one, of us, a shot. one of us had died. Yeah, yeah. yeah. fantastic. Yeah. You can see right up the valley there how wild this place is. Yeah. A few old stone walls here just to indicate that man has actually been up this way. But over the, I'm told over the hill, you keep walking over the hill a few miles, you're into Lancashire then. So, quite a way away uh, on the edge of the Yorkshire Moors. I'm actually back gunning uh, on this last drive, so I did get a, a bit of shooting and managed a few nice birds.
Have you had a uh, have you had a good season so far? Yeah, good season. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. This is the well. this is the Iron Man of the of the <laughs> shooting world. I remember shaking his hand when I first came here. I thought that uh, somebody got it, me stuck in a vice. Get away! Uh, <laughs> once again, well done, mate. Yeah. Pleasure. Be have glad you, to get you because yeah. you never always get bloody chance, do you? No, I don't. No. Can't be yeah. everywhere, can you? We've just timed it now, a bit of, a bit of Scotch mist coming in, mate. Oh, it's spoiling his day, we've been yeah. looking. Yeah. Well, we were just talking about it to, uh, to Nigel Leon and Dick about it when I first came here. There weren't a lot of wildlife here. But I've noticed gradually it's, it's halted. Got, it's halted you know, a lot and it's got veterans. And You've got everything, haven't you? No, right enough, dippers yeah. and, you know, variation of everything. Curlews, lapwings, yeah. the whole lot have, yeah. have got come up since. Yeah. You know, since the shoot came in. Yeah, it's all credit to uh, to yourself as yeah, well. Gamekeeping. Ke uh, gamekeeping. I know you get it's vilified a lot, but it's not all just about this. It's about you know, all the countryside that thrives with it. Well, you know what I say. These that want to get rid of commercial. This is not a commercial shoot. We have a few let days. That's all. It just helps pay the bills. Yeah. But if they ever get rid of commercial shooting, what they're going to turn the guns on? Because they won't, you know, they're going to turn the guns on the existing wildlife. Yeah. And that's going that's going to upset the balance. So much, it'll vanish well, altogether. Well that, you know, the food's out for the the game birds, but yeah. it's also out for the hedgerow birds. That's right. You know, yeah. it, it, it's all a happy medium. Not not about big bags. No. It's about people getting together and enjoying a day out. Yeah, yeah. And, all and, the beaters have been here. They've yeah. all got a bit yeah. of brass in the pocket yeah. just to go home and, and yeah. feed whatever they need to feed. That's right. Yeah. All yeah. the hotels. Yeah. What you know, a, it's all yeah. a, a joint effort, isn't it? It's marvellous, and I think it's. It's, you know, it's, it's to the betterment of the countryside, and I, I, I thank you for for the job you do, mate. I do oh, sincerely. Oh, you do oh, a fantastic pleasure, job, and keep it, keep it up, mate. If any non-shooters watch this film, I do hope they will appreciate and recognise the love that the shooting fraternity and the country folk have for the countryside and its flora and fauna. For without these dedicated people the countryside faces an uncertain future.